Hey everyone, Gio here with the Blueprint. Today I'm excited to release my latest indicator, the Dynamic Square of Nine. Um, this is a powerful tool that dynamically adapts with price action, providing another way to forecast support and resistance using the Square of Nine. Um, again, I've created this indicator to help simplify some of the concepts and trading methodologies of GAN and Patrick Nikula, making your learning journey smoother than it was for me. Remember, this is purely educational and not financial advice. So let's dive right in. So as you can see on my screen, we're on chapter three of Patrick McCullough's um, definitive guide to using um, to forecasting using WD GAN square of nine. Um, and as you see here, I have a few highlights. A market often favors an amount of movement around the square of nine when forming price swings. Uh, market swings are measured from low to high high to low, low to low, high to high. When the number of degrees of the movement that a market favor is found, that information can be used to make a price forecast. So as you can see here in the chart, um, we've moved the zero degree overlay angle to this low pivot and 45 degrees from that angle, we have a, uh, another low, so low to low. And then again, we move the overlay angle to this top pivot 45 degrees from that top angle um, or top yeah zero degree angle we have a top so top to top and again from low to low we have another 45 degree movement <clears throat> and essentially this is what the dynamic square of nine indicator will allow you to do um, plus many other things but here where we can use the indicator to help find these little measurements essentially our square of nine ruler and uh, that we can apply dynamically to the price action. So as you can see here, we put the zero degree angle on this pivot, 45 degrees from that, and we could forecast. So using here, we have the four, zero degree overlay angle on 74, so 74 D, and 45 degrees from that, we have 70. By consistently measuring, constantly measuring a price market swing and finding an amount of movement, which the market favor is possible to forecast tops, top and bottom price levels on an ongoing basis. So we'll demonstrate that on the same, we'll demonstrate that on the same chart. So if we go ahead and move to here, this is coffee um, features uh, 2003 from this, so from, we pulled it from this uh, same example of the book. So here we have the indicator, it's called Dynamic Square of Nine by Blueprint. Um, and I'll just go ahead and open it up. But first, we'll just show you, zoom out and show exactly what we're doing here. So we picked this significant low. Again, with all my other indicators, you move this with to select the timestamp, and then we're gonna select that low. <clears throat> As you can see, we select the zero degree overlay starting price is $44 and nine. Um, we're not doing any um, scaling, we're just going off of uh, the starting price. And as you can see, we have the 45 degree increments color coded up to the first cycle, which is $75 and seven cents. And as you can see price, I found resistance there a few times. And this is a really cool way to uh, move around the square of nine. And here, when you open up the indicator, we obviously have this the calculation. So we need to select the date time, select a high and low pivot, scale if we need to. Um, I have tool tips here to help remind you um, by what factor we want to um, apply based on if the price is very low or if it's uh, too high. Um, we can multiply, divide, and then once we have that, we get the first uh, rotation step to kind of get a feel for. So if we just go ahead and multiply by 10, we can see how dynamically we adjust the square of nine. So we'll go back to one, and from here we can rotate up. And just to show you the rotation, I'll go back down, and we can rotate up again, rotate up again. And you can see we keep the color coordination for each angle in within each rotation. And as you can see too, as we go into a new rotation, 
Um, so after rotation one, we go 45 degrees and rotation two and carry that all the way through. And we go 45 into rotation three. That way it's just easier to keep track of what um, cycle you're in. So I'll go back here. It's a really nice way, and this is very this is dynamic, meaning that I can go to this low. And which one? Yeah, so go that low. Sorry, my computer's a little slow today. And you can see how we quickly adjusted to that price or applying that zero degree overlay to any level that you like. And we'll go ahead and try work, go from a top just to demonstrate that. We select the top, we need to actually select high and it'll reverse, we'll reverse the square of nine rotation. So now we're going down. Cool. And so in the example in the book, I think we started here. I'm gonna go ahead and select low. And just to do an overview here, we have all the angles, so you can choose which angles you actually wanna see. But right now we have the entire overlay shown. And then we have some cosmetics. Um, but for the sake of the example, I think we just are looking at the 45 for now. Cool. So you can see here, if we measure from this low to low, or low to low, we have a 45, and I have some drawings here. Um, so we have, let's see, let's go back to the, right, so, from this low to low, we have a 45 degree measurement. From that high to low, we have a 45 degree measurement and that's what we're essentially doing here. I think we have, yeah. So I've added a few more indicators just to demonstrate. So from this low to low, 45, and you see how 45 degrees is held up in this sideways action here. And then from the top, we have 45 degrees measured out and we can see that these tops are coming up and hitting 45 degree angles. And I don't think the 135 is in this example, but I also noticed that a 135 was also being measured or I was able to find that measurement as well. So if we go, we had 135 degrees. So from that high here, you can see 135 found price action found some support um, around the 135 level. And if we dynamically move it to this next high, we see 135 again on E. If we move it to this high, 135 again. I'm not sure about this one. We'll see. Yeah, 135 again. So yeah, this is a, one of the applicable way of using the dynamic square of nine is finding essentially the vibration the movement the degrees of movement um, in price action as well as getting the overall you know movement from here as you saw earlier we had a complete 360 cycle around the square of nine from this low right price action came did a full 360 cycle around the square of nine at 75 and 0.7 cent, uh, cents found resistance and see where the 180 yeah anyways like i said i've color coded these so as you go up in rotation um you can get familiar with what levels price actions reacting at you can track that as well as well as with my other indi indicators I'll be releasing in the future, I've stuck with this Roy G. Biv color code um, within the levels. Just to familiarize yourself with the angles just based on color. Um, this is something that I've, I like. Let's see. Yeah, cool. Yeah, so we have the full gamut here. So thanks for watching. 
uh, to gain free access to this uh, indicator, check the link in the description and or comments or reach out to me on X. Uh, feel free to share charts um, and reach out uh, with any questions. Again, all of this is just educational tools. None of this is financial advice. Um, I will never reach out to you for money or ask for you to join any Discord group or Telegram group. Everything is either here on YouTube or X. So thank you. Enjoy this indicator. I really love this indicator. It's one of my go-to tool, go -to tools in my belt. Um, and I'm happy to share it with you guys. Thank you.